This is chapter 23 and the last chapter of Addicted to Love and it's called The Perfect Illusion and above there is a part, a very famous part of the Heart Sutra Form is emptiness Emptiness also is form Form is no other than emptiness Emptiness is no other than form and another quotation comes from the dynamic energy of the lion tantra, which is an old text from Buddhism. From what is not manifest, all manifestations arise. And the last quotation is from B Byron Katie, and she says, Without something, what fun is it to be nothing? So, reflecting on the long and complex series of mistakes that form our identity and almost determine everything we do, you might be inclined to adopt an aggrieved or resentful attitude along the lines of, what a horrible world is this, why does it all have to be so complicated and painful, why can't we all just be happy? It's completely understandable. You are then looking at the mistakes through the spectacles of those mistakes. Or in other words, you are rejecting the rejection. You are condemning the condemnation. Do you recognize here the subtle trap of dissociation? Rejecting the system of rejection is still a form of rejection, so it doesn't help you at all. And in fact, it's completely unnecessary because in reality, all those mistakes are part of a perfect system of mistakes, a perfect illusion. As long as you think that reality isn't good as it is, you have forgotten that it's your way of looking that isn't good. The perfect reality then lets you know about this mistake in a very insistent manner. Each time you feel aversion to a situation or a person or to yourself, it's your own non-judgmental awareness that is forgetting itself and allowing itself to be swept along in its own projection. And each time you make that mistake, it's immediately brought to your attention. You feel pain. And if you then make the mistake of running away from that pain, you get another warning. You feel even more pain. It's an infallible system. And each time you cling to a situation or a person that fills you with happiness and you become attached to the self-esteem that this gives you, it's your perfect abundance consciousness allowing itself to be swept along in the illusion of neediness. Each time you make that mistake, it's immediately brought to your attention. It evokes fear, fear of losing that person or situation, fear of rejection and self-rejection. It is an infallible system.